Uh, Brutal here at the Houston Regional Texas event. My goodness, nine rounds of Swiss, 454 players. And we have, whoa, William Candina returning to the channel. My goodness. Yo, yo, what you do today, man? I played good old reliable Dragon Link for the millionth time. Million time. And uh, I finally topped the regional after a freaking six years or five years. So, yeah. Oh, finally. what an accomplishment, man. I know, right? It's so crazy. So, okay, yeah. uh, yo, yo, uh, so how was your experience overall, man? Because uh, this was a uh, post ban list. Uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. I think the event too was run really smoothly compared to the last one. The last time they had a lot of like technical problems and like issues. Yeah. This time it started like like 10:30, like really well, and the rounds went by really smooth. So, yeah. no, I think this definitely ran ran really well. Okay. Um, but like overall, I mean, I played. Eight different decks, two Dragon Link mirrors. Um, I think you're saying like, I don't know. It was kind of it was kind of just a toss up, but yeah, I had some very interesting matchups and uh, didn't play a single cash. What? So, yeah, it was but, crazy. but every every round was a different deck. A every round was a different deck except for two Dragon Links. No way. Do you know top of your head what those decks were? Yeah. So round one, I played against Thunder. Round two, again, I played against Kashtira, Phantom Knight, Danger. Round three, I played against Super Heavy. Uh, round four, I played against Dragon Link. Round five was Labyrinth. That was my one loss. Uh, round six, I played another. Uh, I played Sword Soul. Round seven, I played Aaron. I played Dragon Link again. Round eight was uh, Branded. Branded. Yeah, Despia. And then round nine was Trap Tricks. Oh, okay. So, yeah, very, hey, very uh, scattered. Yeah. Yo, without further ado, would you like to present the top eight goo? Yeah. Uh, standard list: three Safer, three Black Metal, one Red MD. These are your six starters. These, these, this normal summon go crazy. This normal summon is just a seal or a runless. This card's really good at adding back with Belly on and just keeping your grind game going. So this card is like really solid. Okay. Uh, but this card's effectively safer in a way. You know, it still gets you to ROM, it still gets you to what you need. Um, mm -hmm. This card too, being able to like re recharge it and bring it back in like late game when you like regain put back your striker or chaos base put it back uh, is like really good. Okay. So. Definitely no complaints with the amount of normal stones I played. Six was definitely perfect. Right. Definitely more than enough. Uh, as for the Bissiels, three Magnum, shocker. Three Rebellion. Uh, I played two Sarnir, and one Juice and one Baldrick. Uh, How'd you like this one? This was really good. Uh, this, I would, like, so your normal end board is always Seal Beast, and then adding off Magnum and Phase. And when you add this off Magma, because your seal's always summoning another Magma, and the Magma's searching again, so search what you actually need for that turn. And Baldrick at times is just a way better interruption than Jerusalem sometimes. I guess it's like combo decks. Like for example, the Trap Tricks player in round 9, yeah. I just, just kept summoning Baldrick and Baldrick tributing to banish a Sarah every time, because Beast couldn't pop it. Beast, it's unaffected. Yeah. Or like uh, even against the Despia player, I Baldrick him like three times. So. Definitely no complaints about this. And Despia's just like by themselves right now are like I think really good at like banishing cards. Especially against like Despia, Striker, Lab, Mirror Match. Yeah. Uh, like frankly, the only bad matchups to see for this deck is like Thunder and uh Kashtira. Okay. Kashtira is like always painful because the Rise Heart, you just need non engine to break that card. So but besides that, these these cards are very solid. Alright. Uh Rockets. Two Tracer, one Recharger. Uh, I mean, nothing to say about this much. Uh, not three of this because re uh, Ravine can always send Abzard and Abzard to grab this. Uh, and you already play six normal summons as it is. So you don't really need this because Boo can always just summon it. Okay. Um, Recharger, because Recharger is crazy. This card, this card is wild. Uh, and yeah, it's like half the times when you're using the, the, uh, the rockets, it's always just like kill your opponent or like put up like interruptions mm -hmm. turn one. Which is like rare, but sometimes happens. Uh, one of abs, black, white, bloody, standard, chaos yeah. targets, uh, and then abs because it gets rockets. Yep. Uh, hand traps, three ash, three nib, three imperm. Uh, I had no complaints about this. This card put in a lot of work today for me. Um, no one respect nib? No, people like respect the nib, it's just. It's just, um, when you put up Seal Beast plus this, it's just like impossible to beat. Mm -hmm. um, because Seal's always dealing with the interruptions such as like Baron or even like Fender or something. Um, but no, nah, th this card when it resolved was always great. Okay. Um, 
I didn't resolve it as much as I would have liked to, but it still came up quite a bit to make it worth it. So yeah. Uh, spells, big cast base, three quick launch, uh, three talents. Uh, this was great. Anytime I got hand trapped, this gave me info into them, or it gave me into engine that I needed. Uh, every time I resolved this card, I was always looking at their hand. I drew once with this against a super heavy guy, but um, besides that, I always looked at their hand and I always had knowledge of when I'm bouncing off seal and when I'm popping off these, like every time. Okay. So this card was really good for me. And because I'm, this deck is over 40 cards, this deck is 46 cards, that like you don't need to see this card for it to be relevant, you know? So it's not like a necessary piece of like non-engine that you like really want to see. It's just there if it's there. Oh, yeah. uh, one of Ravine, Boot, Beast, Regain. What do you nothing to say about this? <laughs> yeah. Drew like three times today. Drew both these like twice. I mean, yeah. These cards are necessary, but... Yeah. What's the main deck count? 46. 46? 46 cards. Right. Uh, literally, the only reason being is that like, you don't want to draw these. Yeah, I mean, but, but except, maybe, still yeah, except for like this one. This one's why I go. This one's fine to draw. Okay. Every other one is like you want to just search it. Mm. So, uh, extra striker, pussy. Uh, I no comment. Rom dark two seal. This card's insane. This card just you summon this every single match you play. It's uh, really good. Uh, triple burst. Uh, unicorn. This card came up a couple times to, like curse some stuff, but. I think I summoned it once today, and it was against the lab guy. So, uh, but I mean, it's there if it's there. It's uh, always good. I mean, occasionally you have like a striker dragon, and then you'll like summon the unicorn co wing to it, and then you get a draw card. Yeah. That happens like a couple times, but not today. <laughs> uh, big guys, access code, four wound. Uh, this card's insane. This card's uh, UCT yes. on crack. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's insane. And then four, four synchros. Uh, no, no comment. This card's really good. Just like being a big body that's hard to deal with. Yeah. Um, I mean, this this is really hard to out against Hashira, uh, unless they have the field spell. So, no. No complaints about all these. I didn't summon this as much as I would have normally liked to today, but when you summon it, it's, it's always just you're going for game or you're putting up interruptions. Yeah. And then a tomb. Uh, this is LP. Like, why not? I summoned this maybe three, four times today. And it was like it was used to kill my opponent, like turn three. When they passed back and I had like a magnum on field. Okay. It was very good. And then I played the worst side deck known to man. Uh, this is very bad. Regret everything. But three skill drain. Oh man. Yes. It was terrible. I didn't use it once today. Oh. Uh, the idea is that like you have like seal, beast, and skill drain. So whenever you summon off seals, always dodging off beast. Because you just go like chain like one magnum, chain two beast pop. And like it still resolves. Yeah. Uh, same thing with like Levy, but it's like <sighs> it, it, it's like it hurts you more really than your opponent at that point. Mm -hmm. So it was just, I mean, I sided in it like twice, but I didn't draw it. So, but definitely not worth it. Three rivalry. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, this was really bad. This was like kind of like in theory for cash because like they put up two psychics and they just can't play. They can't exit in anything. Yeah. Um. I didn't side this once today. Three Dark Roar. This was probably sided like three times. This was like really good if it resolves. Like I did resolve this against a super heavy player. He ended on like Regulus, Apo for three and uh, a Baron. Okay. Uh, that's the only time I resolved this card today, I believe. But besides that, I mean, solid. Good card. Two Storm, one Duster. Uh, resolves Storm three times, a few times against like just like generic back row decks. Uh, like for example, the uh, the trap tricks player, the uh, what else did I do against? I guess the uh, the Thunder guy too. So, and then last week three Cosmic, just more black row, more back removal. Uh, yeah. Kind of like that for uh, Birth or uh, Striker cards, but it's like spot removal when you don't need these. Mm. So. Yo, yeah. Well, hey man. Uh, well, before we end the video, any shoutouts? Uh, yeah, I want to give a couple shout outs to this guy, Khalil, for driving me today. Mm. Legend. Uh, I want to shout out Brayden for letting me borrow a few cards. Uh, he only borrowed three Rebellions and a Chaos Angel. So, That's a lot. super helpful, yeah, definitely to play this deck. Mm. Um, I want to shout out uh, Sean Pittman. Uh, he's a nice Dragon League player, he's pretty nice with it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I want to shout out the Barbershop and, uh, and all the little kids in it. 
all the little kids. Hey. Like John, Riley, Ryan, Charlie. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. That's what's up. Well, hey man, congrats on top eight. Till next time, everyone. Thanks. Uh,